Pop squat. Come on at ya. We have some more. Some, <laughs> some more. We have some more. We have some more. Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, I have not listened to a ton of Lil Uzi Vert. And um, some of the stuff that I have listened to has been off of this album. Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, some during live streams, uh, 12 tracks, more than I thought, actually. X2 I have listened to off of this album. Um, wow, it's been back since January. I did, uh, sorry, I did something in June and in May uh, on a live stream, but I can't find out exactly which tracks I did. Uh, but okay, this is only the second track off of Pink. X2 I listened to off of this um, back in February, January, is that what that said? I don't know. I don't know what it said. Um, but anyway, this is cool. This was also sent in by Duck Dolan, who sent in a track we did yesterday. Um, Denzel Curry, I think, that was the track from yesterday, I think. And um, produced by, the song is Rehab, I don't know if I mentioned that. Produced by Brandon Finessen, Don Cannon Quincy, or Qu -qu -qu Quincy, Qu -qu -qu Quincy. Yeah, Breezy Music and Bugs Ronin uh, came out in June of 2023. Ooh, there's lots of stuff about this. Wow, 26 tracks on this album? That's impressive. This is rap, emo pop, emo ballad, mental health, conscious hip hop, e uh, emo trap, dark pop, dark trap, pop rap, emo rap, east coast rap, and trap. This is going to be interesting. Wow, that's a lot more stuff than I thought was going on here. Uh, before we get to the music, I want to remind people to like, subscribe, and share. Cash App, PayPal, Patreon is over here if you want me to react to something. There's also a link down below to order one of these cool stickers that I'm throwing across the room uh, to, because we hit 50,000 subscribers on the channel. And uh, there's also a new playlist down below that you should check out in the, in the description of this video that has a bunch of great music on it. Let's do the song. Thanks again to Duck Dolan for sending this in. Four minutes and five seconds. Lil Uzi Vert Rehab is the name of the track. Let's do it. I went through so many experiences in my life. You wouldn't even understand. You would think this shit is a big lie, but it's the truth. Oh yeah, shout out to um, Caitlin, shout out to Julie, shout out to Lola. <laughs> Shout out all my peoples, you know who you is, man. Shout out to Big E, too. That's what I call you, man. We go golfing. So, um, this is already starting off very differently than I've ever experienced anything from Lulu's Uvert. Uh, this is, instead of him being big, huge superstar man, which is what I'm used to, this is him being very personal and... Uh, I mean, at least a little open. He doesn't, uh, the stuff that I've listened to, he hasn't done anything like this where he's like calling out to specific people and giving them props and, and doing whatever, right? Like he's, and saying like, you wouldn't believe the stuff that I've gone through in my life. He just launches into a song and starts talking, like starts rapping, starts telling us a story, starts doing whatever. Um, this is very different right away, right off the bat. How deep into the album was this? I assume fairly deep. Yeah, tw song 22 of 26. So uh, that doesn't surprise me at all. This is for all the people who would stick around through this entire album to find this track. And and it's only for the fans. It's for the people who, who stick around for the whole thing instead of just cherry-picking the, the most popular tracks on the album, right? That's cool. That's cool. Thank you for sending this to me. I'll never forget my rain. Make sure I ain't feel no drum. Looked at you like my own mom. Wasn't old enough to be my mom. But you can't write through on perfect time. I was in and they couldn't handle no diamonds. But you still told me that I was shiny. I was under your spell from the kindness You ask me every day why you crying Couldn't tell the truth so I start lying 
told you about all the things I could buy. You said take your time, stop watching time. Going through withdrawals, you saw the signs. I was literally just on my mind. I'm the shit I couldn't hold my bounds. Rehab centers don't even got no crowds. You said you'll be okay, have patience. Lots of Sarah Quill and Camper Pinton. For like two weeks straight, yeah, I was shaking. I would tell you about who I'm dating. No more fast holes and crime stations. No more lobster tails and fast relations. Followed your own rules, fuck the basics. When night time will come, couldn't wait until the day shift. I don't know, forget my rain. Make sure I ain't feel no drum. Looked at you like my own mom. Wasn't old enough to be my mom. I don't know, forget my rain. Make sure I ain't feel no drum. Looked at you like my own mom. Wasn't old enough to be my mom. Okay, so this has got to be about a nurse or somebody named Moran, right? So special respect for Moran, a significant figure in his journey to, of quitting addiction, likely a close friend or family member. He sees her as his mother. By the way, she provides motherly and nurturing care like a mother. It sounds like, I don't know, it sounds like it's a nurse or something or somebody at this rehab center who's like provide, like helping him out and helping him get through all this, right? It doesn't sound like it's just like a friend i mean maybe it is maybe it's somebody who's allowed in to see him but that doesn't seem right in a rehab center usually you do not get to see your friends in rehab centers um but you know i'm not a millionaire successful rap artist who can sign into a rehab center that still doesn't seem likely the rehab center would want to control all access to you entirely so um I didn't know he went to rehab. I mean, the song title kind of clued me into that right off the bat that he had, but um, that's interesting. That's interesting. The only rehab I've done is uh, like a long weekend to handle my withdrawal from alcohol. And um, I don't know about more serious drugs. But it's not, uh, it's not easy. <laughs> I mean, any sort of addiction is not easy to get over, and especially drug addiction, because it just taps into parts of you that you normally don't have any conscious control over, and they just get in there and screw up your entire system. So it's it's interesting to hear him talking about, like, he couldn't be honest with himself, he would lie about you know, when they would ask him questions, he would tell them all sorts of different things. It just didn't matter, right? Like who he's dating and whatever. It's, it's interesting. This is a, this is a cool track. Uh, this is a very cool track. Let's keep going. My mom. I wanted to escape this place. Deep down, I really hate this place. I came in with 50K. I left out with 50K. Cause you can't spend no money in this place <laughs> It felt like a whole week in just one day They checked on me on every 45 minutes I thought that they was just trying to be in my business Everyone is equal here, they don't care about riches I'm gonna die in here, I had that feeling But Moran made sure I was efficient Should've went on no trips when they went fishing I can't take it this one more, but my best friend's name Jake. He made sure that I was straight. Graduation made me feel so great. I don't know. Forget my rain. Make sure I ain't feel no drum. Looked at you like my own mom. Wasn't old enough to be my mom. I don't know. Forget my rain. Make sure I ain't feel no drum. Looked at you like my own mom Wasn't old enough to be my mom I ain't forget about you, honey Used to drive me to my own To my doctor's appointments And I ain't forget about you, Nurse Tamil Or Lord J, or Ben Or Dr. Rudy You did your thing on this, Fouché Huh. 
Interesting. Yeah, I didn't realize that he had gone through rehab. So it's 22nd track on his third studio album, album The Pink Tape. Uh, third studio album, The Pink Tape. I don't know why I'm duplicating words. In this track, he refers to a comfort zone of theirs. Oh, is he a they-them now? Uh, or at a utopia-like place in which all are equal. No, that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about being in retab, and in there, everyone is treated equal. It doesn't matter how successful you are, how much money you are, how you have, what you do for a living. You are treated like a patient and a human being, and the goal is to get you off of the drugs and get you to survive that and make it through it and deal with some of the stuff that drove you to being an addict. Like, it makes you try and return to being a human being. Uh, this connects to the rehab being a pivotal turning point in Uzi's life. In early June, Uzi revealed to the public that they had been attempting rehab for seven months prior to Pink, Ta Pink Tape's launch. Wow. At oh, attending, not attempting. Attending rehab for seven months. Yeah, uh, like I said, I, w I am, was alcoholic. I know that's not appropriate to say was, but uh, I don't drink now, so... <laughs> um, and all I have is the experience of checking myself into a recovery program for a long weekend. Um, the drugs they gave me there to help me to deal with alcohol withdrawal, which is, I believe, the only drug uh, you can be addicted to that will kill you in withdrawals. Ev everything else will make you feel like you want to die. Alcohol can actually kill you from withdrawals, so... I was very afraid of stopping drinking and uh, finally had to just do it myself. Um, I had, had to check myself in. And um, they gave me some drugs to help with that. Let me sleep, let me rest, let me just do my thing, get it all out of my system. And not all. I mean, I still shook for months afterwards. And... Um, I'll tell another story related to that, but I uh, made it through, and uh, I did not have really any relationship with anyone who was in there, uh, like what he's talking about in this. It sounds like there's somebody there, and again, and maybe it's not a nurse even, maybe this Moran is somebody else who is there uh, being treated, but this was definitely a significant thing for him. I'm very curious to hear more about his experience with that and if he's still not using um because man it's got to be difficult to be famous rich and injured and not be tempted to do drugs it's got to be super super difficult because it's so easy right like you've got the money you've got the free time You've got the pain in your head that you don't want to be thinking about. It's got to be so easy. But doing it is counterproductive. Like doing any drugs is going to take your mind out of everyday life and not let you deal with what you need to deal with. That's the whole point. So I don't know. I hope he's still, I hope he's still clean, as they say. It's a weird thing to say. You're not dirty. <laughs> when you're doing drugs <laughs> uh, whatever um, I was going to say what was I going to say uh, something about I was talking about rehab oh man I had something I was going to tell you and I totally spaced it out now because I paused uh, this was very good I would love to hear more personal stuff from him um, in his music and this is this doesn't go super deep either right like, he talks about some stuff that's very important, and that is deep a little bit. He talks about the fact that it didn't matter how much money he had. He went in with $50,000. He left with $50,000 because there's nothing to spend money on. No, I mean, nothing. Couldn't go in with his diamonds. Uh, nobody cared about who he was dating. Nobody cared. Of, didn't have a watch with him. He couldn't control his bowels because he was, like, uh, it's personal, but it doesn't, like, tell us anything about what it was like this is just a you really helped me get through this and I didn't think I could get through it so I would love to hear more personal stuff from him to see what 
but that's up to him right like if this is as far in as he wants to let us get that's fine because i'm sure this connects with people and this tells people like hey if lil uzi can do this i can do it even though it sucks even though it's hard he even says it's the worst thing in the world he hates this place he's you know like And I've, I've said it before, people who are using understand that what they are doing is self-defeating. But they don't want to deal with the issues that they are actually having. It is easier to do drugs and make all those thoughts get much too fuzzy to deal with. Don't I don't have to think about that. I'm drunk. I'm stoned. I'm wasted. I'm whatever. Like I, I don't have to think about that anymore. Instead of having those thoughts go through my head all the time, I just don't have to think it. I could I could think anything. I could think nothing at all, and that is better for me mentally than dealing with the pain that I have. And there's a lot of people in that boat, so I get that part of it. Good track. Good track. Um, I'm very curious about this. We were talking about this album the other day at work, actually. Cat, what are you doing? Come on. Why are you being so goofy? Um, thank you once again, Duck Dolan, for sending this in. I appreciate it. I am going to get these uploaded and go to bed. Thank you very much, Pop Squad. Check it out. Check it out there. This is where I'm supposed to say it. Please like, subscribe, and share. Cash at PayPal, Patreon music uh, uh sticker information and um what's the other thing a playlist is also down below i'm gonna go kill my cat have yourself a good good day i'll be back with some more music tomorrow bye bye